Okay, we'll take care of this in proper integral, the integral from 0 to infinity, square of x times e to the negative x dx. As we can see, here we have this square of x. However, for the exponent of e, it's just negative x, right? So the usual approach, if you want to let u equals to this part, it's not going to work in this case. And as we know, square of x is more complicated than negative x. So why don't we let u equal square root of x, and then just you know, continue with the usual process and hope for the best, yeah? So with that being said, let's go ahead and say that u equal square root of x, and that's square both sides, x will be u squared, and then differentiate both sides, we get dx equals to 2u du, like this. And we can now take this integral from the x world to the u world. Remember, this is x going from 0 to infinity. When you change, be sure you talk about the u values. Technically right here, it will be u goes from plugging 0 into x, square root of 0 is still 0 for the u, right? And then plugging infinity for the x right here, square root of infinity is still infinity. So u also goes from 0 to infinity, right? Alright, here we have square root of x, which is the same as u, and then this is still the e, and then we have the negative, x is u squared, so let's put that down right here. dx is the same as 2u du, and now this integral is completely in the u world. We will finish everything in the u world. First of all, let's take the 2 all the way to the front, and then we have the integral from 0 to infinity. u times u is u squared, and then this is e to the negative u squared du. And now, I would like to ask you guys, how can we integrate u squared times e to the negative u squared du? We can't, isn't it? Well, in this case, let's think back to our usual strategy. This is what I like to tell my students, right? Think about it. Wouldn't it be nice if we can do something to this integral to make it much easier to integrate? Well, just imagine, if you cover the square up right here, if you just want to integrate u times e to the negative u squared, can we do that? Yes, right? Wouldn't it be nice if that's the part that we have to integrate? And you see, we know how to integrate part of this. So this will suggest us that we should do this by integration by parts, because I can break the u squared as u times u. u times this part we know how to integrate, and then we can just different, differentiate the other u, right? So let's do this by integration by parts. Of course, I'll show you guys with the di method on the side right here. Put on the plus, minus, just to get ready. From here, let's go ahead and integrate u e to the negative u squared, all right? And I would like to differentiate u. And you see, when you multiply this and that, you will get back to the original, just the function part. I am still keeping the two all the way in the front, okay? All right, right here, let's go ahead and do this. And <laughs> just you know, use the w substitution, or just do this in your head, or whatever you want to do. This is going to be negative 1 half, e to the negative u squared. If you are watching this integral, right, you should be able to do that. Anyway, let's go ahead and differentiate this, and the derivative of u will be just 1. Okay, usually I will tell you we should keep going so that if you differentiate 1 again, you can get 0, and you have a 0 in the d column. That will be wonderful. However, I cannot integrate e to the negative u squared for the function part, all right? This right here has no answer, so I cannot go to the next row. I must stop right here, all right? And with that being said, we'll still follow the usual deal. The product of the diagonal is the first part of the answer, and then the product of each row is still going to be another integral, all right? So let me write this down for you guys. This right here, we still have the two all the way in the front, and let's open the parentheses for the result of this integral after we apply this di method for the integration by parts, okay? First part of the answer is going to be this times that, so let me put this down as negative 1 half times u, and then we have the e negative u squared for the power, like this. And since this is the first part of the answer already, no more integral, right? We are just going to be plugging the numbers, right? 0 to infinity like this. We're going to evaluate this part. And then, as I mentioned earlier, the product of this row will still be an integral. 
Negative times negative, be sure you account for the signs, all right? It is going to be positive, so we are going to add an integral, and since this is still an integral, so we still have the same limit of integration from 0 to infinity right here. And you see 1 times uh, 1 half, well, uh, negative times negative is positive already, so that's why I said 1 times 1 half is still just 1 half. And then we have this, e to the negative u squared, and this is still du, and this is what we have, all right? And now, why don't we figure this part out first? To do this, well, technically, when I plug in infinity into the u and u, I really have to do limits, right? And let's do that on the side, all right? So be sure, what I'm doing right here is that I'm plugging infinity into this u and that u, and that's the same as taking the limit, and let's put that down right here, okay? So I will write down taking the limit as u goes to infinity. This expression is the same as saying I can put down the negative u on the top, okay? Negative u on the top over the 2 is on the denominator, and then e to the negative u squared, this right here, goes on the denominator as well. And it becomes e to the positive u squared power like that. Okay? Alright. As you can see, if you plug in infinity, on the top you get infinity. On the bottom you also get infinity. Sorry, on the top it's technically negative infinity, but it doesn't really matter. This is an infinity over infinity situation, so we can do Laffitas rule, right? Let's go ahead and do that. Let me just go ahead and just differentiate, put on d du like this and then d du like that. This will be the same as saying to take the limit as u goes to infinity. On the top, it's just going to be negative 1. On the bottom here, uh, this part stays the same, e to the u squared. But the chain rule says you have to multiply by 2u, right? That's the derivative u squared. 2u times this 2 is 4u, right? And now, plugging infinity into here, you will have negative 1 over infinity, so this is going to be, let me just write it down, negative 1 over infinity, but on your it is just 0, right? So when you plug in infinity into here, you get 0, and that will be wonderful. And now let me just write this down for you guys. I have this 2 all the way in the front, and the red part here, when I plug in infinity, which is the same as taking limit, I will get 0, and then I will minus when I plug in 0 into this, thank you to this u, right? Thanks to this u, everything will be 0 as well. So this part will be 0, okay? And now, how can I take up this? Well, let me just say this is plus, and let me bring the 1 half to the front, and then we still have this integral, right? Uh, let me just put this down in blue still. This is integral from 0 to infinity, e to the negative u squared du. And now this is what we have. Does this look familiar to you guys? This looks a famous one, right? It's a famous one. Right here, let me just tell you guys. Uh, here, this is the famous result. The integral from negative infinity to positive infinity, e to the negative whatever, right? It doesn't really matter which variable they're using as long as they match. You can use negative x squared, negative t squared, negative u squared, or whatsoever, minus u squared in this case, du. If you go from negative infinity to infinity, this right here we will end up square root of pi. This is the famous result. And this right here is called the Gaussian integral. And if you look at this is what we have compared with this. We are going from 0 to infinity in this case, right? If you just go from 0 to infinity, e to the negative u squared, du, you get exactly half of this, which is square root of pi over 2, like that. So now I can come right here and then finish this for you guys. This is going to be, I still have the 2 all the way in the front, 0 and 0 doesn't really matter, and then we put down the 1 half, and then for the integral in blue, you know at the end, we end up with square root of pi over 2. So we multiply by square root of pi over 2, alright? And at the end, you see, 2 times 1 half, they cancel, and then we have this, right? And yes, this one is just the same as 
this one, right? We will just have square root of pi over 2 for the final answer. In fact, that's also a famous question as well. And at the end, you get screw pi over 2. This is so cool, isn't it?